Caspian Sea, world's largest inland body of water, alternatively, characterized as the world's largest lake, or a full-fledged sea. The sea's name comes from the ancient Caspi peoples, who formerly resided in Transcaucasia, to the west. The Caspian Sea encompasses about 4 lakh square kilometers of surface, and has an average depth of 200 meter. It stretches about 7,000 kilometers along the coasts of five countries on two continents. The Caspian Sea is the largest salt lake sea in the world. Surprisingly, the Caspian Sea has not traditionally been extremely large, or even interior land-locked lake. It was connected to the neighboring water basins such as the Black Sea and the Mediterranean Sea until 11 million years ago. The connecting of water was known as the Sea of Azov, and linked it to the world ocean. It is now relatively isolated, with only river inflows connecting it to the rest of the world. The sea has become the greatest inland body, due to the lack of outflow regions. Approximately 850 animal species and more than 500 plant species are found in the Caspian Sea. For such a large body of water, the number of species is relatively low. The Caspian Sea is home to a number of species that are only found there. It is also home to a huge number of sturgeon, including the world's largest freshwater fish, the beluga sturgeon. World-renowned caviar farming takes place in the Caspian Sea. Caviar is a high-end delicacy appreciated all over the world, and the Caspian Sea is a significant row farming region. So, how does caviar get created, and where does it come from in this region? The salt cured roe, or eggs of some fish species, such as salmon and sturgeon, are used to make it. To offer a sense of its retail value, one kilogram of albino sturgeon caviar sells for a stunning $35,000, while wild sturgeon caviar sells for $16,000 per kilograms. One of the most fascinating facts about the Caspian Sea is that, it has never been classified as a lake or a sea. Even as recent as 2018, an intergovernmental effort to determine its status yielded no results. Generally we all know, a lake is a body of water that doesn't flow into the ocean, and is surrounded on all sides by land. The Caspian Sea matches that definition, since it is landlocked with only a few rivers pouring into it. At the same time, the sea is a large body of water in terms of surface area and depth, but it is not as large as the ocean. And the Caspian Sea suits these descriptions as well, since it is an extremely large body of water, covering approximately 4 lakh square kilometers, with an average depth of 200 meter, and a maximum depth of over 1 kilometer. With the breakup of the Soviet Union, the Caspian Sea and its natural resources became a subject of conflict for Russia, Iran, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, and Turkmenistan. By legal precedent, no one nation may claim the sea, and any country's navy is free to utilize it within the United Nations restrictions. A lake, on the other hand, might be claimed by a single nation, or a collection of nations, and passage is not always open to all. Because the Caspian Sea has yet to be defined, this has resulted in a territorial dispute, making it a unique case. Thank you for watching the video. For more interesting facts make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Until then, peace out.